Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a fixed footer bar for your Divi theme. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so right now I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is to scroll all the way down here to Divi, and then you want to hover over here and click on Theme Builder. Next, we want to click on Add Global Footer. So we're going to click here, Build Global Footer. And uh, for this, we're going to build it from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Right, so the next part is choosing the columns. So we are going to go with a three column structure. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. But before we get started, we'd like to uh, go in and uh, set up our section height. So I'm just going to click out of here, click here on this gear icon to go into my section settings. And then next, I'm going to come over here to design sizing. Okay, so this is where we want to add our specific height, which is going to be 85 pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and add it here. And then we also need to adjust our padding. So I'm going to just collapse this and then go to spacing. So for our padding, I'm going to add a zero both to the top and the bottom. And notice that I'm using this chain icon to add the value both to the top and the bottom. Okay. So now that we've added all that, the next step now is to go into our row settings and add a background color. All right, so let's close out of here. So I'm going to first of all save, and then now I'm going to uh, go into my row settings. I'm gonna click here on this gear icon and then go to background, click here on this plus button and add my background color. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I am using, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, next I'm gonna come over here to the design tab because this is where we need to go into sizing. Activate use custom gutter width. Now the gutter width is the space between the columns. So we wanna make sure there's no spaces. So we're gonna add a one. Next, we're going to uh, add our width. So for this to work, it needs to be at 100%. So I'm gonna drag this all the way to 100%. Now the maximum width also needs to be 100%. So I'm also going to go ahead and do that. Now the next step is to add our padding. So first of all, uh, we just need to uh, collapse this and then go into our spacing. Right. So for the padding, we're going to add zero, both for the top and the bottom. And then next for the left and the right, we're going to set this to 3%. And notice I'm using this chain icon so I can add the same value pretty much on all the sides. Right, so the next part now is to add our custom CSS. So the CSS now needs to go over here in the advanced tab, custom CSS, and this is going to go in the main element. So I'm going to come over here and paste it. Now, while we're here, we might as well add our CSS for the smartphones. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, click here on the phone and paste my CSS code in here, just like that. Okay, so pretty much that's looking good. I have my uh, CSS code now all added in. Next, I need to add my positioning. So I'm just gonna collapse this and come over here to position. So at the moment, it's set to relative. So this is where now we want to set this to fixed, which means it's going to be uh, fixed at the bottom. And finally, over here on the position, we just need to make sure that this is set to the bottom right here. Okay, so now that I've set all that up. Part two now is to add all the content into our design. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and save this. So now let's go into column one. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And what we need to add here is the menu. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So make sure you have some links here already set for your main menu. So as you can see here, I have my main menu and that has pulled in all my links that I need. All right. So, and by the way, that is uh, all automatic. All right. So while I'm here, I'm going to go into the logo and add my logo by clicking here on dynamic content and selecting site logo. And also, uh, so you know, the uh, logo needs to be already set on your website uh, for that to work. Now, as you can see, we have a background color here and that doesn't look good. So we're going to come over here to background and add transparency. Next, we're going to come over here to uh, design and uh, we need to uh, work with the uh, menu font. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to come over here and we're going to set our menu text color. So I'm just going to scroll down here and this is our menu text color. I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. And as you can see here, my color has changed. 
Now it's time to set our font. So I'm going to scroll up here and the font we need to use is called Overpass. So I'm going to search for it and here it is. Go ahead and select that. Okay, let's continue on and set our logo. So here on the logo, uh, let's head over here to design and then we're going to come all the way down here and set our sepia tone and we're going to drag this all the way up to 100%. And then we also need to set our logo maximum height. So we're going to come over here to sizing. And here's our logo maximum height. We're going to set this to 50. So pretty much that's all we need to add here. I'm going to save. Next, we're going to come over here. And this is now time to add our copyright sign. So we're going to come over here, click on this plus button. And what we need to add here is some text. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So since this is going to be our copyright text, I'm going to um, add this dynamically. So I'm going to click here on this plus button to add my dynamic text. And what I need to add here is the current date. Right. So over here on the before, this is the text we need to add. And then on the after, we need to add our all rights reserved. So I'm going to paste it in here like that. And then I'm going to save. So notice what happens here. My copyright sign has been added. The date is there and all rights reserved has also been added. So if you want, you can play around with the um, date format. And if I come back over here, you notice that for my format, I can choose pretty much, you know, whatever I want. So, um, you know what? I am, I'm happy with this. I'm just going to leave it as it is and save. Now let's go to the text design. So I'm going to come over here, click on text. So the first thing I need to do here is to change my font to overpass. And then we need to add our text color. So I know I've used um, some of these colors before, but anyway, I'll click on the eyedropper tool, paste my color like that. And now you can see we have our color. And then on the text alignments, I want to make sure everything is all aligned center. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So pretty much this is what we need to add here. So I'm going to go ahead and save. All right, so the next step now is to add the social media follow. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for social media. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to click on this plus button. So by default, we get Facebook and Twitter. So you can add all the networks that you want. So let me just add, say, YouTube and uh, go back and maybe add Instagram as well because it is quite popular. Here we go, so I've added Instagram. Okay, so now that I've added my social media networks, it's also very important that you go in and add the links that you need to add because if you don't, then you're gonna have a problem because when they come to your site and try to click on this, they will not be able to uh, access your social media links. So let me show you quickly where to do that. So if I come over here to this gear icon, click here on link, and this is where you would add your social media link. And then once you've done that, you go back to the same for Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. All right, so the next step now is to head over here to design alignments. So for our module alignment, we need to align them all the way to the right. And we also need to add our icon color. So I'm gonna come over here to icon and then choose icon color. Now I know we've used this color before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in here like that. So now we have our icon color. Next, we also need to activate use custom um, icon size. This is where we can go in and customize our icon. So I need to just drag this say to about uh, 16. And I think, yeah, I think that's great. I'll use 16. Now what we need to do next is to add the background colors to our social media icon. So if I click here on Facebook, and go to background, I can add my color like that. And I also need to add some padding. So what I'm going to do now is to go into design and then choose my padding by coming over here to spacing. And this is going to be eight pixels to the right and the left. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that. And now it's on the right and the left. So now that we've made changes to this, one of the quickest ways you can, uh, oh, in fact, you know what? We have something else we need to do here. And this is to come over here to our rounded corners. And we are going to add eight pixels. Okay, so that's looking much better now. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with that design. So what we're going to do next is to extend the styles. So let's go back now over here and um, click these three little dots, extend item styles. And then we're just going to say throughout this column, extend. And now I've saved myself a lot of time, you know, to go in and do these one by one. Okay, so as you can see, 
all this is now updated. So all we have to do now is to save this and then we need to exit out of this builder, save and exit. And this is our final footer. So let's do a quick preview by coming over here now. In fact, let me save changes. So now if I refresh this, this is now our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.